What's going on, guys? It's Postman delivering up a long overdue thrift store haul here from last week, and then this is from this past Saturday. Um, now, this stuff I'm going to go over from last week does not include the, the awesome autograph find that uh, I came across. Um, it's actually a record album, and uh, I bought a bunch of record albums this past, not this past Saturday, but the previous Saturday. Uh, but I want to do a separate video for those, because um, it's going to take up at least 10 minutes. So that definitely needs to be in a separate video. So this is just the other stuff I got uh, two Saturdays ago, and then stuff I got this past Saturday. Clear? Capiche? All right. So anyway... Uh, this stuff here is from one one store. Damn, I should have been prepared, but I am not, of course. But uh, I picked up this. These all of these books here in this bag here were a quarter apiece. Uh, but I have Queen of the Dam by Anne Rice. I'm going to put my Anne Rice book plate in here that I got from uh, Tom Hippies Collectibles. So that's going to go in there. So that's awesome. Uh, and the other one I got uh, is The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Mung Kid. Uh, it was made into a movie. And I have a book plate signed by her. So that's going to go in here. So I should have been prepared. I should have had those out so I could have showed you guys uh, me putting them in here, but I didn't prepare myself. Um, anyway. Then we have Al Jaffe, Mad Magazine paperback book. This is Dead or Alive. Um, this paperback is a first printing, and it's from 1980. Very, very cool. Huge, huge fan of Mad Magazine and all the writers and artists that worked for it. So super cool. Do not have this one. Awesome. Then I got uh, this book here, Exploring the Titanic. Um, just a really cool book. Um, really goes in depth into everything that happened with the Titanic, and it's a great piece of art there. Um, and it shows uh, people trying to unearth the Titanic and and uh, all the stuff that they found uh, buried beneath the sea. Pretty interesting book. I thought I'd just pick it up. And this book I thought was kind of cool. This is Nelson's Patriotic Scrapbook. Uh, it's from 1974. It's got a lot of really cool pictures in there. Um, a lot of stories and poems and whatnot uh, that has to do with the colonial times and George Washington, Gettysburg addresses in here. Um, Constitution, stuff like that. Just thought this was kind of cool. So I picked that up. So that was a whole dollar twenty-five plus tax right there. Uh, another thrift store I went to. Um, let's see, I picked up. I picked up these magazines. Uh, they were 30 cents a piece. A couple of uh, more recent issues of Entertainment Weekly. This is the January, February 2013 issue, the Oscar issue. And this is January 18, 2013. Um, exclusive look at the new Hunger Games film, Catching Fire. It's very cool. I always love reading Entertainment Weekly magazine. That's pretty nice. Um, and then another thrift store. So I went to a few thrift stores two Saturdays ago, and I picked up these items here. Uh, first one here is a VHS cassette of the animated musical BC Rock, uh, featuring music by Genesis, Hall & Oates, Clarence Clemens, Rick Wakeman, Rick Derringer, and Leo Sayer. Uh, this was an originally... This was originally a French um, animated film uh, directed by Picha. 
and uh, this is the American edition of it. Um, this is actually a very rare video. It's not in the greatest shape, as you can see here, the box anyway. Um, the video is really nice, except for this person, Dolly. I had to make sure everybody knew who she was by writing on it. But this is actually pretty rare. Um, it's never going to be released in the United States on DVD. Uh, it is released overseas uh, on DVD, but it's never going to be here in the States on DVD. So uh, finding VHS copies are getting harder and harder to find. Paid a dollar for this, guys, at the thrift store. Uh, looked it up real quick, but I didn't really find anything on eBay until I got home and, and actually found out it was a lot rarer than I thought. So I put mine up... Uh, for $40 opening bid and $50 buy it now, and I do have a bid on it, and I got it pretty quickly for $40. So, really, really excited about that. Okay, and uh, uh, these books I think were either a quarter or 50 cents a piece. These are both signed. Uh, this is Tales of the Wide Awake Cafe by Kurt Munson. He's a, a local author. He's in Edmond, Oklahoma. Got that, and this one's pretty cool. It's got the sign by the author sticker. Uh, this is my story by Francis the Bird, uh, with help from Carla C. Kane. Nice children's book, signed right there, 2004. Nice, really nice hardcover book. Um, it's originally sold for 20 bucks, so it's pretty cool. All right, so that was for two weeks ago. This is the stuff I got this week. Uh, picked this up. This is uh, then Le Levy said to Kelly, "This is the best Buffalo Bill stories ever told." Uh, as you can see, there CD inside, and it's still included here. This book originally sold for $22.95. Um, just about brand new condition. Got some nice photographs in here. Um, everything Buffalo Bills that you could ever want uh, is in here. Paid a good price for this. This is up for sale or trade. Uh, any of you Bills fans out there watching, if any of you guys are interested, um, the book is in immaculate condition. There's the juice from Jay Simpson. If you guys are interested, still has the CD, it's in fantastic condition, Just let me know. Uh, from that same store, I got this book here, this is my stepdaughter's watch, A Forecast of Technology, Society, and the Coming Generation by Jack Bacon, and this is signed uh, to Corey, it was a pleasure to meet you in Eden, Oklahoma, best wishes, Jack Bacon. Uh, he actually works for NASA. Uh, let me find a little video back here about him. Uh, he is an internationally known motivational speaker, a distinguished lecturer at the American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, AIAA. Uh, I believe he does work for NASA in some capacity, though. That's him right there. He's been called the new Carl Sagan. So, pretty cool pickup there. And these all came from the library. Um, so they still run their book sale, even though they don't do a special. So, books are normally, uh, like hardbacks, I think, are 50 cents or a dollar. Softbacks are like a quarter or 50 cents, something like that. So, you don't get like a bag of books for $2 um, when they're having their specials. So, I went there anyway because I had heard that they were giving away all their 2009 magazines. I guess uh, every couple of years or so they um, give away their old magazines. So I went, I was hoping they were going to have Entertainment Weekly, and they did, a whole stack of them. So I picked up the whole stack. There's no limit on to what you could grab, but this is all that was interesting to me. So I got, it's a really nice looking issue there. J.K. Rowling, special double issue, that's cool. Eminem. So, there's Barack Obama. Twilight. 
Heath Ledger, Chris Harry Potter. Sherlock Holmes, Project Runway, Adam Lambert, yay! Glee, Michael Jackson, Paranormal Activity, that should be cool. Ryan Reynolds. Hey, you know what? For all you ladies out there, there you go. Uh, Dave Letterman, Seinfeld. Patrick Swayze tribute issue, Iron Man. So got the whole stack for free. That's awesome. Just love looking at them, looking at the pictures and whatnot. Some of the articles are still pretty relevant. So cool. Um, so I think I paid either. It was like a couple dollars for everything. These three books. I think I paid fifty cents a piece. Um, but I got football stars of the 70s. O.J. Simpson's in here. Bob Tucker's in here. Franco Harris. There's Franco Harris. That's a pretty cool book there. Uh, it's from 1975. Got classic clip art. Thousands of copyright free images. This is a really nice um, large hardcover book. Full of clip art. Just great stuff to look at and get ideas from. from my artwork. Yeah, I think I paid a buck fifty. So the books were hardcovers are fifty cents a piece. And then found a really nice sign book. This is Glorious Angels by Walter Dean Myers. And they actually didn't really cut it up and screw it up. It's still in very nice condition. Signed right there, Walter Dean Myers, October 14th, 1995. Uh, Walter Dean Myers is an African-American author of over 30 books for young adults. Uh, he's written, he's won numerous awards for his work. So, it's a beautiful children's book. Awesome to find that for 50 cents. And again, this is an ex library hardcover. I mean, it was on the shelf and people were checking it out, but yet it was signed. So it's just amazing. So make sure, make sure if you go to library book sales to check all the books if you got the time. But anyway, that's my haul over my limit. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for that record album haul that I got um, with a really nice find, um, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, again, if you haven't gotten my contest, guys, uh, make sure you do that. Awesome contest, giving away cash money. Check it out, and I will talk to you later. See you.